VermontsPaint.com, and uh, I just wanted to show you the rest of the Spider-Man shirt finished. I want to give you a video of how it looks and everything like that. I added all of the detail in there from the spider webs, and uh, I added all this really cool detail with a background stencil that I used. I actually used this one, and this is pretty cool. This is like a little uh, like texture for like lizards and like skin and stuff like that, and I used it for uh, the little texture and like you know in, in the, inside the suit right here and stuff like that. I also added some sepia as a base color, so if you see the video of me doing it, this is a time lapse video, and I'm also posting the full one on the Patreon page. And when I get time, I'll do edit and post it here. But um, I wanted to show you all the detail and everything like that, and uh, just quick tips of what I did. So I made the background misty and very like unfocused, so that brought out the main character to pop out the background. I think that's really important when you finish something. So see, it's more like prom in the front. And um, I also airbrushed, you know, all the little like kind of highlights in there at the end, and then the mist in the background. So here's like the sepia I used by Wicked. So detail, it's kind of all dingy because I'm always painting all the time, I'm using a ton of colors and just, you know, moving around. Uh, that's red, but I didn't really use too much red. Red, I think I used caramel uh, and detailed scarlet. A great color I used. And then I use this, it's a really great thing, transparent base. And what that does is when you add transparent base to the shirt and you heat set it, that makes the shirt very flat and takes the paint a lot better. And if you're doing really high detail stuff like that, I always use that. So that's a really great tip to use. Um, anything else? Uh, thinking um, added the lights in the blue, there's the phthalo blue, and then some uh, regular blue on top of it. And um, I added pink gray in the background, so it's not so black black, but it's kind of like that misty kind of city look. So it gives you like the um, unfocused, and then like the uh, this is all uh, jet black in here in the background, so that pops out even more. So I appreciate you guys following it. Uh, drop a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, or uh, just let me know what you, what other questions you have. You know, share and all that good stuff. It really helps out my video and, get, and gets it out there. And uh, even check out Patreon if you want to uh, join that. I'll send the link below. And uh, I send all the videos and all the uh, behind the scenes stuff there too when I'm working. So I appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you again later. All right, later. Bye.